So, uh, Mika and Michael here gonna play. Michael's gonna play some Overwatch. Yo. Yo. It's gonna be a good time. Uh, good stream. Hour and a half. Eh, you know, I'll be or here. Or so. Five. I'll be here till five. Hour. Cool. Great. Good to know. So, just a little bit, a little bit of an Overwatch stream on the receipt switch. Uh, yeah. My fucking I got my down. fucking YouTube jacket on. I got my sh my fucking uh, gunner shades on. Hell yeah. Are you actually wearing the gunners over your glasses? Yeah. Oh, you are. There yeah. you go. Yeah. Gives me faster reflexes. Gunners are awesome, okay? People, people say they're bullshit, but they're rad. Don't give me that. I can see you in my stream. I see you give me that. In our stream, please. Right, sorry. In the in the Rooster Teeth stream. Give me a break. Joining game, so Jeff was gonna be here. Yeah. And then he just left. It's all right. Michael. He was like, I got back from the podcast, and he goes, I am leaving. And I said, Hey, I thought you were gonna pop into the stream. And he said, Yeah, but my mom's flight got in early, so see ya. And then uh, away he went. Yep, there you to go. To pick his mother up at the airport. All right, so here's how I play. I pick Reaper, uh -huh. no matter what my fucking team is i don't care seriously somebody else can change <laughs> and sometimes they do and sometimes they don't although yesterday i had an interesting thing where i joined a game as reaper and every single fucking person on my team was is it genji the ninja well there are two ninjas the, the very ninja. the first one all the way in the genji. left yeah every yeah. player was genji and they all just kept throwing shit at me Jesus. as to say hey you changed the genji too so i did did you guys uh, win? We did not win, but oh. we came very, very close. Uh, but we were just six Genjis. It we, was interesting. So uh, technically, uh, since uh, this uh, is a uh, um, a Rooster Teeth stream, weird. We're Why supposed did... to talk about Rooster Teeth stuff. Oh yeah. Okay. So Michael, tell us about Camp Camp. Uh, you know, it's a show. It's coming out soon. Mm -hmm. I'm in it. Yep, you and, are. Uh, it's about camp. It's about camp. You know, there's some shirts yes, available for it. I'm already getting door. shot. Stop, please. <laughs> Uh, okay, who is your character? Can you tell us that? I play I play Max. And who what what is what's Max's he's a, is about? He's a a ten year old I think he's ten. He's a ten year old camper and mm -hmm. it sucks and he hates it. And he's like, This sucks. You're a piece of shit. He's kinda like the main antagonist of the uh, show. Alright. Where he's like, I don't I hate it. And he's pretty much counter to Miles character, who plays David, who is the uh, Happy-go-lucky, excited <laughs> youth camp counselor. Aww. Who's, uh, you know, he's big on camp activities and friendship and teamwork. And uh, Max is one of those adults stuck in a child's body. Got, oh, the salty fucking kid. Yeah, so he's a salty fucking kid, but, like, he's still a kid, so he doesn't know, like, you know, what girl parts are and stuff. Right. But so he does have quite a firm grasp on... Uh, most things. He's experienced the horrible reality of Earth, but he doesn't know how to fuck yet, is what you're talking Kind of, me. yeah. Yeah, gotcha. Damn it. And uh, how long is Camp Camp going to be running? For a while? Know. For a good while? Uh, you know. Good, yeah. And it's premiering. When is it premiering? Uh, I don't know. Oh. It's a great question. Well. It's, uh, it's posted somewhere. I, th I think they is. announced it. You should go to roosterteeth.com and check out Gray's journal entry, where he details the entire um, uh, summer of anime. Yep, let's see. What else What else are you involved in? You're involved in Ruby. Yeah, How's that Ruby? experience? Uh, you know, good. I don't think I've recorded anything for Volume 4 yet, but uh, I've been doing Ruby Chibi lately. How's Ruby Chibi going? It's pretty good. Kerry just writes a bunch of stuff so him and I can have episodes together. Because <laughs> he's like, hey, you know how Sun and Neptune don't really have time to go on misadventures in Ruby because there's too much heavy shit going on in Ruby and we really True. can't fit it in? True. So let's just do whatever we want in this show. I is kind of what I assume. Because right. I walk into the booth and I'm like... Gary, we have more lines in Ruby Chibi than we did in Volume 3. And he goes, I know. <laughs> Michael, do you miss the McRib? Uh, you know, it's pretty good. I'm okay with it when it's away. I can use the time off because right. it'll be, you know, I'll be waiting for it when it comes back. Good, good. Man, those turrets are really killing me. Uh, someone said, what would your superpower be? Well, I would go, die, die, die. And I would just spin in circles and I'd shoot a bunch of people. So Michael would be but I would do... I would do better than I did right there, where I think I got one kill with it. Someone asked Michael, "How do you feel about the TMNT movies, the old ones?" Epic. 
The like the live action ones, I like them, but they're terrible. I mean, have you seen them anytime soon? I have not seen. I them. I can't imagine anyone who didn't see them growing up would ever like them because, I mean, fuck, you gotta you gotta accept a lot watching them. I I grew up watching those movies, so I mean, the first one was good, quote unquote, as mm -hmm. far as everyone said. Second one was okay. The third one was fucking stupid. The one where Jeez. they go to like feudal Japan. Um, like uh, Wolverine and that one horrible arc and then they decided to make a Wolverine Origins movie out of it. Right. That movie wasn't great. That movie was heinous. I still like it better than X-Men 3, but okay. I'm in the minority there. I like there. everything better than X-Men um, 3. That's, again, yeah. X-Men 3 is <laughs> definitely the worst and yeah. then Wolverine's after that. That's but. true. Mika and Michael, what's your favorite 90s Disney cartoon? I oh, liked Chip and Dale so Rescue many. Rangers because like, Ch -ch -ch Chip and Dale. That's a good one. Rescue Rangers. Um, good show. I don't know. Um, I mean, I guess it's a it's a movie. It's not a show. But well, what's your favorite nineties show? They said show, Disney show. Uh, shit, I don't know. I didn't. Uh, I didn't have Disney as a kid, so my Disney shows are probably limited. I'm more of a Disney franchise kid. Gotcha. So like Disney movies and all that shit. Mm -hmm. But I don't really know that I saw that many Disney shows. I mean, I know I saw. Chip and Dale, I was way more of a Nickelodeon kid. And then uh, and then Cartoon Network when that rolled around. Fuck, I don't even know. Like, what did I watch in the 90s? I can't even remember off the top of my head. Whatever the fuck was on TV, honestly. Uh, movies, I know, like, Nightmare Before Christmas was always my top Oh, jam. that was so That's good. That's, like, one of my all-time favorite movies. That holds up... To today, yeah. I, I mean, I watched that movie like a year ago in 3D, and it was fucking amazing. That was that was great. I love Nightmare Before Christmas. I like also during um, both holidays, Christmas and Halloween, so it just stays from Halloween through the ho the Christmas holidays. Uh, Disneyland changes Haunted Mansion to Nightmare Before Christmas theme. Oh, that's awesome! It's so great, Michael. If we could be any Pokemon, what would you want to be? Oh, I'd be a Charmander. I would probably be a Pikachu. I'd be like Charmander, Char. You would be a Fire type, Michael. Don't touch my health. That's mine. I want that. <laughs> okay, we're good. If you were an Overwatch hero, what powers would you be? I'd probably be a support class, like a Mercy. I'd be all killing all the time. So you'd be a Reaper? Like that. You're dead. Who's our favorite Kingdom Hearts character? I am a big Oof. fan of Axel or a big fan of Demix. Oh, Axel's pretty cool. I'm a nobody's fan. What about oh, you? Oh, hang on. Let me let me just get in here. Let's get out of get out of here. Get out of here, you. Um. I like Beast. He's pretty cool. Uh, I mean, he's really not like a, you know, he's a Disney character in Kingdom Hearts. But right, yeah. I like Beast in Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, shit, I don't know. What, is Lawrence in here too? Dude, they got nothing better. Yep, Lawrence is in here too. Hey, Lawrence. Hmm, let me think of a good character. He, he kind of pisses me off, but I like, um... Oh, what's his name? Old David Gallagher. Riku. Riku is the best. I like Riku in Kingdom Hearts 2 better than Kingdom Hearts 1. Well, he's a fucking bitch in Kingdom Hearts 1. Exactly. He's just a Ron Weasley. He just whines about he everything. Whines and he's like, so oh, you're the chosen one, Harry. I want to be the chosen one. The Keyblade chose, chose me, not yep. you. Pretty much. That's why. And Riku in Kingdom Hearts 2 is like a badass. I work Damn with, it. I work with Organization 13 now. I have a cloth over my eyes. I'm cool. Yeah, Roxas got a lot of shit, too, because it was... um. Who the fuck? Uh, uh, Jesse McCartney? Yeah. Did the voice of Roxas. <laughs> yep. So a lot so of people give him a lot funny. of shit, but I like Roxas as a character. Roxas I thought was he was kind fine. Of whiny, though. You know, but I mean, you know, you get made based off somebody else. True. It's not great. Yeah. Michael, would you ever consider cosplaying? Sure. Who would you want I, to cosplay? I would never make them. I would wear them. Right. I just, I don't, I don't have any skill or real interest in making all the costumes and stuff. So if I ever had free time and some free materials around and got bored, who would you want to cosplay, Michael? If you want me to make you something. Um, I'd do, uh, I mean, pretty much anybody at the top of my list. Probably, like, I'd do Leon from Resident Evil 4. That'd be an easy one. Nice, nice. His jacket and his sweet holster. Yeah. And his sweet like the fur on the jacket. Yeah. And then I'll get to the part of the game where I take my jacket off and then I don't have it anymore. Yeah. Would um, you cosplay your own characters? 
Yeah, I do like Mogar. I could do Sun. I'd look like shit because the unfortunate problem is most of my characters don't wear shirts and they're <laughs> fucking like in impossible shape. So I just impossible look kind of impossible shape. Yeah, I look kind of stupid as them, but I'd do it. Are either of you involved with day five? Nope. Are you? Nope. There you go. Hard nope. No, Josh. Josh asked me a couple months ago at a Christmas party. He's like, "Hey, would you ever be interested in like?" You know, doing any more serious, like, acting stuff? I'm like, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. And he goes, yeah, you should audition for day five. I'm like, cool. And then he sent me a new audition, and I never replied. <laughs> so, that's, so there you have it. That's pretty much where my uh, <laughs> my involvement with day five began and ended. Any outlandish E3 predictions? Fuck. Kingdom Hearts 3 will get a fucking announcement for a date. That's my that's outlandish, outlandish prediction. Yeah. Honestly, we never know anymore, so... Uh, what do you think of the Assassin's Creed movie coming up? Fuck. I'm excited for the Assassin's Creed movie. It looks pretty good. I'll yeah. be honest. It looks I, really I'm, good. I'm not like, uh, and we lost. I'm not. Uh, I'm not down on it. I mean, there's some things. I first of all, I think the soundtrack's fucking stupid. I think it, the Kanye are they song is, is stupid. Put Kanye in the movie because I, uh, I mean, so I mean, who knows? For that trailer, I think it was a really shitty decision. I'm yeah, assuming they did it because they were like, it's a popular song and whatever. Like, you can see a million reasons why they used it. I don't yeah. think it works at all. Uh, that said. Uh, the trailer, what was in it, I was actually fine with. It looked pretty good for a video game movie. Yeah. Like, it actually seemed to have to do with the video game, and I could, like, go, oh, this is based on that, and blah, 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 blah. I of course, agree. I'll like myself. The, uh, the animus was weird. Yeah, it was weird as fuck. It was, like, a giant claw yeah. thing, and it just kind of picks you up. But, like, I mean, I guess based on the trailer, what they're going with is it's more... Basically, he's gonna be physically doing the things in the Animus yeah, instead that of like weird. instead of just like sleeping. It'll be more. It'll be. I, I, I guess it looks more like VR, basically. Right. It's we're not like just you're we're like sleeping in it. I guess that the logic there is that's how he will learn so quickly to do these things in real life. Which, right. like, if you want to explain it that way, I'm okay with that. You know, like he's running around climbing buildings and shit in the Animus, and then he wakes up and he goes, "Oh, now I can do it." That's why I'm excited for this Assassin's Creed movie because I'm. I can't judge until I've seen it. It seems like they're taking the video game and making That's what it looks like. a movie. Yeah. You know, they're not hitmanning it and being this vague action movie and putting assassin like slapping Assassin's Creed on the title. Even the the costumes are scream yeah. Assassin's Creed the video game. Yeah, they look good. Yeah, which is what's getting fans so hype about it is it's just like, oh my god, this you is got just the fucking double knife part. Yeah, it's like double like, kill. He, that's he, awesome. He, he hidden blade murdered people in the trailer, and that's such a. That's what I want to see. Assassin's Creed. You know, right. it's like that's what's in the game. That's what I want to see. They oh, they wow, covered in the trailer hidden blade kills. They covered leap of faiths with the eagle cry. They cover the badass outfits and they cover the animus. So right now, of course, like video game fans are blowing their loads everywhere because it's like, this is what I want in a video game movie, is the video game in a movie. So I'm excited. Oh, someone said, Michael, what are the Fuck. top three languages you want to learn? English would probably be my number one. If I could <laughs> master that, that'd be great. Uh, I probably should learn Spanish. I'm pretty like, like non existent in Spanish. <laughs> uh, living in Texas, it, it comes up from time to time. True, it does. Um, but Lindsay's useful for that. But she'll be dead one day. Um, Michael! And three, I don't know. Whatever. Just whatever. I yeah, really I mean, I'm never going to learn a goddamn language. other language, so it's irrelevant. It's a relevant question. But if I could magically learn it, it'd probably be Japanese. How about your favorite Disney, or your favorite animated movie that isn't Disney? Probably How to Train Your Dragon. Ooh, good choice. I was going to go with Spirited Away. I fucking love How to Train Your Dragon. One and two. They're two was great film. Two made me cry. I really thought they'd fuck oh it up God. in the sequel, but they didn't. They did not. That's... Look at this guy. Kill him. Kill them all. Oh, you're dead, but that's okay. You got another Kill them all. Oh, this dude looks just so soft inside. Look, the inside, too, is like a bathing suit. What? Look at you that. Can... Feel it. Feel the inside. Feel how soft it is. Oh, that's fucking nice. Real nice. YouTube gaming. I hope you have some of those in your swag bags. You know, I mean, you know, couple billion views later. Cool. I got a jacket. <laughs> have either of you watched X Men Apocalypse? I did, and I was so happy that I loved it. I haven't I seen was, it yet. You would like. I think you'd like it. Everybody kept giving it a bad rap, but it wasn't bad. It was a good movie, and it was a good X Men movie. Like. They even acknowledged that the third X-Men movie was shit in the movie. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, that's a they turd. made a joke about it. Yeah. It was great. That's why they undid it. Yeah. <laughs> with Days of Future Past. I think we were talking about this the other Let's day. Let's go ahead and pull that movie out of there. No other franchise has undone their own canon. Yeah, their because own Because everybody film. hated it so much. It was incredible. Yeah, you had nowhere to go there. Are you okay? Uh, Am I okay with them screwing oh, up Storm's machine. lore? I don't think they screwed it up. I think they just added more to it. I also like that they finally went with the mohawk. I mean, it makes it harder for me to cosplay her because those wigs don't fucking exist. Just shave your head. Yeah. Just, that's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm just going to shave my head. You heard it here first. Done. Man, I'm finding a game while skirmishing. So I'll probably do one more game. Once yeah, we, probably uh, one more. Once we find it. Yep, yep. Theater mode Super Mario movie. Oh my god. I mean, that'd be fucking probably like impossible to get the rights to it. Yeah. But also, what would we have to say besides look at it? <laughs> Uh, every scene I would just go and look at it and look at it I'm pretty sure Dennis Hopper said that was the worst the worst movie he'd ever done in his career I agree it was like the him. worst career choice Some, something to that extent I, I definitely and then he died agree. from it like he died from that movie from it being so bad yeah he was just like I realized it was 20 years ago but it's because of this movie and then he died uh, Mika shaves her head is not a 10,000 extra life goal. That would be a 1 million extra life goal. Or more. Fuck that. Michael, would you ever cosplay an X-Men? Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah? They got some pretty sweet suits. They do. I'd wear them. Do you like you know, future past suits? Or first class suits, I should say. The blue and yellow ones. They're pretty cool. They're okay. I like them. They're cool. Um, I like the originals too, like the yeah. two thousand suits, the black ones. Those are nice. I liked how in this movie, spoilers, Apocalypse was kind of like a magical tailor because he, you know, recruited his his assholes and then made them cool suits with his powers. That was just part of his powers. Was like I can make you guys really complicated armor. Oh, sweet. So he's a he's a mutant tailor. It's pretty cool. So he's like that whole store in Kingsman. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Oh yeah, get over time. Get over time. No, 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 no. Don't let him have it. Don't, 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 don't. Um, Stop letting him have it. I don't read DC Comics as much. I only really read stuff with Harley Quinn in it because she's my fave. But I'm not. There we go. DC That'll fan. do it. That'll clean him out. And that's good. No. All right. Pew, pew. Pew, pew, pew. Well, and is that yeah. all we're doing today? Yeah, I think that, you know, I mean, unless you want to play. No, I'm no? not in the okay. right mind to play. You know, you know you've had some time. Nah. It was hours ago. It was hours ago. I need to eat more food before I'm right. coherent. So. I mean, just as, pretend that was me with the play of the game. Yeah. And, uh, wow, great work, Michael. <laughs> good, Michael. Yeah, Hell of a play. Good, Michael. Oh, my God, he's not done. He's still killing. He uh, did a good job. I did a job. Good and I'll, job. Uh, I like that guy because he had zero. Yeah. So I'll give Gotta him a, throw, throw everybody a bone. I'll throw him a bone. How many, how many kills did I get? Eight? Not great. It's actually not great at all. Eight and five. But we won. That's all that matters. That is all that matters. Did Teamwork you, is dream work, work, as they say. Um, so thank you guys for joining this Friday afternoon stream. It's the weekend now. Everybody have a safe and fun weekend. Um, I'm going to fucking go to sleep. I'm so about to I'm go to sleep. I'm going home and going to bed. I'm very excited about going to bed right yeah. now. Uh, I realize that we don't have a thanks for watching the stream thing to put up. So I'm about to put oh, up. Is that a, a thing? Yeah. That we have to put up? Just say thanks for watching the well, stream. Because, Done. Because when you end it, it ends abruptly and you need to let it peter out for a bit because there's a lag. Mm -hmm. But, um. Just to hear, click like, and then I'll be like, thanks for watching, thanks for watching, thanks for watching, thanks for watching, <laughs> thanks for watching, and it'll just end at some point. It'll end at some point. Yeah. All right, so if this ends abruptly, we are sorry. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Right. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. For thanks for watching. <laughs> thanks for watching. Hey, audience, I hope you got your dicks ready, because another Let's Play Live is coming Friday, June 17th. Get them out. Coming to you in Los Angeles. 
California. You can get your tickets at roosterteethlive.com. They're already on sale. The whole Let's Play family is going to be there. I'll be there. Lil J, all the other people that the, you don't care about. The taller version of me There'll be LA. a tall guy. There'll be a show. Now, you're, I don't think anyone's shorter than you, but you'll be there. Right. We'll probably be throwing stuff. Jeff will probably fall over on stage again. Right. Can I drink? Can we all drink? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, you're all good. Right, go. We're going to drink. We're so gonna drink go to roosterteethlive.com and get your tickets now and come see us live at Let's Play Live while you're alive.